Hey guys, Nick with Phone Arena here and the past few days have been quite exciting, especially for all the Android fans out there. That's because Google announced the next major Android version, the so-called Android L, and a better release of it is already available to developers. In fact, we have it running here on our Google Nexus 5 smartphone, so let's take a closer look and see what Google has crafted. The first thing that we will comment on are the changes to the user interface design. As you can see, some screens have been left pretty much unchanged, such as the home screen and the application drawer. Other interface elements, however, have been modified and now follow Google's new material design concept, which is based on the principles of flatness and minimalism. Google has also added a sense of depth to the foundation. This has been achieved through clever use of shadows under objects and by layering elements on top of each other. In addition, many interface objects now have a simpler look, like the on-screen navigation keys, which are represented by basic shapes. Menus, dialog windows, even the on-screen keyboard now have a simpler layout. Eventually, all of Google's application will be given the same redesign. Now let's take a look at the functionality changes that are coming with Android L. First of all, the lock screen now displays notifications at a glance, right in the middle of the screen. You swipe a notification to the side to dismiss it or tap it twice to launch the respective app. It is also cool that we now have a shortcut to the phone application straight on the lock screen. Support for lock screen widgets, however, has been disabled. Our next stop is the notification panel. What's new here is that important notifications are pushed up to the top of the list. For example, here's an email that we received earlier. Low priority notifications, such as the ones about newly installed applications or updates, are pushed down to the bottom of the list. A second swipe down brings us to the new Quick Settings menu. As before, you have your toggles for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and Airplane mode. But the button for locking the screen orientation is new and it is a welcome addition. We also have easy access to a slider controlling the screen brightness. Pressing the volume button in Android L displays the volume slider for your ringtones, like usual. Press this button on the right, however, and you will get the option to enable the new Do Not Disturb mode, either indefinitely or for a period of time. When enabled, Do Not Disturb mode blocks whatever interruptions you specify, such as phone calls, messages or both. Google has also built a battery saver into Android L. The mode can be set to enable itself automatically when the battery level drops below a certain point, or you may turn it on manually when that is needed. The overhauled multitasking menu is one of the things that you will either like or hate. Recent applications are listed as cards stacked on top of each other, and you scroll through with a swipe up or down. But it doesn't show more than three cards at a time, while the old menu could fit four, even though it looked more boring. As before, you can dismiss applications with a swipe to the side. One of the small but welcome changes to Android L is that the incoming call notification appears in a hovering window and won't close your active application. We also appreciate having a search option right in the settings menu. Of course, that is not everything. Android L brings along many changes under the hood of the platform, such as a new runtime that's going to speed up apps significantly and improvements to battery life management. Plus, there are tons of new APIs and developer tools that application developers will have access to for making apps more powerful than ever. All in all, Android L is a huge update and there's quite a lot to be excited about. It will be available later this fall and Nexus smartphones and tablets will be the first to get it. Thanks for watching our preview of Android L. For more details, just check out our website, phonearena.com.